السلام علیکم ون پی ایم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دا نیوز ریڈ بائی شہزاد خوری فرسٹ دا ہیڈ لائنس آئی ایم ایف سیز اٹ ہیز ریچ این ایگریمنٹ ود پاکستان فار تھری ایئر ایکسٹینڈیڈ فنڈ فیسلٹی فار سکس بلین ڈالرس ٹو سبلیمنٹ اکنامک گروتھ اینڈ امپروو لیونگ اسٹینڈرڈس Senate passed a resolution today calling for an extension in Prime Minister's scholarship program for Balochistan students for further five years. In Turkey, largest military exercise Sea Wolf 2019 kicked off today. European Union expresses full support to nuclear deal with Iran, urging rival powers to avoid and further escalate over the issue. And now, the news in detail. International Monetary Fund says it has reached an agreement on economic policies with Pakistan for a three-year extended fund facility for $6 billion. According, according to a statement of IMF, the extended fund facility agreement aims to support the strategy for stronger and more inclusive growth by reducing domestic and external imbalances, removing impediments to growth, increasing transparency, and strengthening social spending. The statement says an ambitious structural reform agenda will supplement economic policies to rekindle economic growth and improve living standards. National Assembly, which resumes its sessions at the Parliament House in Islamabad today, is expected to pass the Constitution Amendment Bill 2019, aimed at increasing the seats of tribal districts in the lower house and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa Assembly. The Constitution Amendment has been moved by Mohsen Dabar. During the session on Friday, both the opposition and treasury held threadbare discussions on the Constitution Amendment and extended full support to it. At the outset, the House offered Fatiha for those martyred in terrorist attacks in Gavada. The Senate today passed a resolution recommending that the Prime Minister's scholarship program for the students of Balochistan be extended for further five years. It was moved by Senator Mir Kabir Ahmed Mohammad Shahi. The Regulation of Generation, Transmission and Distribution of Electric Power Amendment Bill 2019 was laid before the House. The Chair referred the bill to the Standing Committee concerned. Special Assistant to the Prime Minister on Information Firdos Ashik Aman says the PTI government will soon be able to overcome economic challenges through its reform program and the country will be put on a trajectory to progress and prosperity. In a statement issues, issued today, she said the government struck an agreement with IMF to improve economic condition of the country and for benefit of people. In occupied Kashmir, South Kashmir Transporters Association has called for a complete shutdown tomorrow against the leaving of toll tax by India's National Highway Authority on the Srinagar Jammu Highway. President of the Union, Bilal Ahmed Tar, said it was unanimously decided to observe one day shutdown tomorrow, keeping in view the holy month of Ramzan. U.S. Principal Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for South and Central Asia, Alice Wells, met with Afghan President Ashraf Ghani in Kabul and discussed peace process and preparations for upcoming presidential elections. In a statement, Presidential Palace said they discussed U.S. Afghan civilian assistance review to promote strong governance and self-reliance. In Turkey, the largest military exercise, Sea Wolf 2019, kicked off today. In a statement, Chief of Turkish General Staff said naval forces will carry out strategic and operational exercises with scenarios similar to crisis tension, situation, and wartime. European Union has expressed full support to international nuclear accord 
with Iran, urging rival powers to avoid any further escalation over the issue. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log in on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and also watch live video streaming on the link facebook.com.radio.pakistan.news.official.